Welcome back to this week's book reading and this week's book reading just like the others is brought to you by Michigan Fitness Foundation and this book is through the approved book list so I'm excited to share it with you because this is one of my favorites Jalapeno Bagels by Natasha Wing illustrated by Robert Casilla okay so just like the other week I have a few quick questions for you before we get started so my first question for you is what do you notice about the cover the pictures, the title, the colors, what do you notice? You can just shout it out at home. Okay, yeah, so I see a lot of baked goods here. Mmm, yum. Okay, looks like a building. Maybe it's a house or a business building. What else do you notice? Yeah, a little boy holding a sign. Hmm, he must be the main character. Okay. So now my next question for you is how many of you have ever heard of a jalapeno before? Raise your hand. Awesome. So a jalapeno is a delicious pepper, but it's a little spicy. Now, if you've never had a jalapeno before and you're not sure if you like spicy things, a good way to try it is have an adult at home, scoop out the seeds of a jalapeno, cut it open and scoop out the seeds and then give it a little, little taste. So like I said, it's a little spicy, so you have to be prepared for that, but you might like it because you never know if you like something until you try it, right? Right. Okay, two more questions for you before I start the book. So my next question for you is, do you know what culture or heritage is or comes from or means? Does anybody have an idea? Okay, wonderful. So what so your family and all the wonderful things about your family so this can be traditions this can be religion this can be culture this can be food there's lots of different things that is a whole part of culture and heritage do you know what culture or heritage you are Well, if you don't know, maybe you can ask somebody at home and they can help you. So for me, I come from a Polish family. So the whole family is Polish, which is on the other side of the world. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see what this Jalapeno Bagels book is all about. What should I bring to school on Monday for International Day? I asked my mother. My teacher told us to bring something from our culture. You can bring a treat from the panaderia, she suggests. Panaderia is what Mama calls our bakery. Help us bake on Sunday, then you can pick out whatever you want. It's a deal, I tell her. I like helping out the bakery. It's warm there and everything smells so good. Early Sunday morning, when it is still dark, my mother wakes me up. Pablo, it's time to go to work, she says. We walk down the street to the bakery. My father turns on the lights. My mother turns on the ovens. She gets out the pans and the ingredients for pan dulce. Pan dulce is Mexican sweet bread. I help my mother mix and knead the dough. She shapes rolls and loaves of bread and slides them into the oven. People tell her she makes the best pan dulce in town. Maybe I'll bring pan dulce to school, I tell her. Next, we make empanadas de calabaza, pumpkin turnovers. I'm in charge of spooning the pumpkin filling. Mama folds the dough in half and presses the edges with a fork. She bakes them until they are flaky and golden brown. Some customers come to our bakery just for her turnovers. Maybe I'll bring empanadas de calabaza instead. You'll figure it out, she says. Ready to make chango bars? Chango means monkey man. Mama lets me pour in the chocolate chips and nuts. When she's not looking, I pour in more chocolate chips. I could bring chango bars, they're my favorite dessert. Mine too, says Mama. This batch should be especially good. I put in extra chips. 
my father calls from the back room. Pablo, come help me with the bagels. Papa speaks English and Yiddish. He learned Yiddish from his family in New York City. I know some words too. Bobe means grandmother. He uses my Bobo's recipe to make the bagels. First, he makes the dough in a big metal bowl. Then he rolls it out into a long rope shape. He cuts off pieces and shows me how to connect the ends in a circle. We put the circles on trays where they sit and rise. While we are waiting, my father makes challah, Jewish braided bread. He lets me practice braiding challah dough at my own counter. It's a lot like braiding hair. The customers say it is almost too beautiful to eat. Maybe I'll bring a loaf of challah to school, I tell Papa. He smiles. When the bagel dough has risen, he boils the bagels in a huge pot of water and fishes them out with a long slotted spoon. I sprinkle on poppy seeds and sesame seeds, and then they go in the oven. Maybe I could bring sesame seed bagels with cream cheese. No, lox. Lox is smoked salmon. My father's favorite bagel is pumpernickel with a smear of cream cheese and lox. I crinkle my nose. Lox tastes like fish. Jam is better. My mother joins us and helps my father make another batch of bagels, jalapeno bagels. My parents use their own special recipe. While Papa kneads the dough, Mama chops the jalapeno chiles. She tosses them into the dough and adds dried red peppers. We roll, cut, make circles, and let them rise. I can't wait until they're done because I am getting hungry. Have you decided what you're going to bring to school? asks Mama. It's hard to choose. Everything is so good, I tell her. I look at Papa, except for locks. You should decide before we open, warns Mama, or else our customers will buy everything up. I walk past all the sweetbreads, the chango bars, and bagels. I think about my mother and my father and all the different things they make in the bakery. And suddenly I know exactly what I'm going to bring. Jalapeno bagels, I tell my parents, and I'll spread them with cream cheese and jam. Why jalapeno bagels? asks Papa. Because they are a mixture of both of you, just like me. The end. Now, wasn't that such a good book? I think that book is so cute. So before I let you go for the day, I just have a couple of more questions for you. So my first question for you is, what was your favorite thing? Or what do you think sounded the tastiest from all the different things that Pablo and his family were baking. What was it? You can just shout it out. Okay, so someone who wanted to try the jalapeno bagels. What else? The chango bars, the challah bread. Oh, there were so many delicious baked goods from that. Now, do you guys know what food group a lot of breads and muffins and bagels would fall into? Remember, there's five food groups. Can you? Guess what that might fall into? We have fruits, vegetables, proteins, dairies, and grains. What do you guys think? Yes, grains, yes. So the baked goods that Pablo and his family were putting together, some of them would fall into the, the grains group. Awesome. Now, if you had to try one of those things, you guys all shared with me your favorite things you wanted to try, what fruit or vegetable would you add to it or eat on the side? Anything? Oh, yum! I would love to put some cream cheese and some strawberries on that bagel. That sounds delicious. What else? Awesome! You'd eat a banana on the side? Yum! That is good. Somebody would eat it with carrots? I love it. That sounds so good. It's always nice to combine two different foods together so you can get more food groups. All right, well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the book. I hope you had a good time, and I will see you next week. Bye. 
All right, so for today's tasty snack challenge, I actually have two challenges for you. So the first challenge is to ask somebody at home what a food is that comes from your heritage or your culture. Maybe you can try it sometime and see if you like it. My favorite is something called gwumki, which is cabbage and some hamburger and some tomato all wrapped up together in a nice little pouch. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> The second part of the challenge is to grab a piece of bread or a bagel if you have one at home and top it with a little bit of cream cheese and a fruit or a vegetable. If you like jalapenos, you can add a spicy jalapeno chopped up to it or if jalapenos are a little too spicy for you or you don't want to have jalapeno, try adding a different vegetable. Today, I'm adding bell peppers to my bagel because Jalapenos are a little too spicy for me, but mmm, 